He's still at it. Left-hand side of your screen. That is Donald Trump. You could just make him out in the crowd there. He finished speaking, I think, about 20-odd minutes yeah. ago. Went into the crowd. He's been there ever since. He's been making comments to various people. I don't know what he said. Everybody's got their, their camera phones up there, so I guess we'll get some sound out of it at some point. I'm sure he just added to what he'd already been saying. Leslie Marshall is, is with us. She, too, has sat through all of this. Watch what Donald Trump said today. Watch what he said last night. And here's my theme, Leslie. I'm going to branch out a little bit. Could Hillary Clinton do anything like what Donald Trump just did? Stand up, no teleprompter, no notes, 45, 50 minutes off the cuff, intrigue the crowd and say all kinds of things about all kinds of constituencies off the cuff. Could Hillary do that? Yes, I've seen her speak off the cuff. Uh, she has a very different style than Donald Trump. And honestly, Stuart, he's a great speaker, and that's what has gotten him thus far. You think However, Hillary could do being that? being a great speaker does not make a great president. I, I know. I, I got that. But I, you think Hillary could do that? I do, but in when a very different way. When did she last way. do it? I definitely... <laughs> Well, I've definitely seen her speak off the cuff, when? not, and she doesn't have to have cameras rolling to do so. When? Well, I've been to speeches where she has spoken without a teleprompter. Yeah, that's a set speech. So I mean, she, she it, here he was, a, Donald Trump was addressing a crowd of people, picking out mm -hmm. people, talking mm -hmm. to him one on one. He wasn't answering mm -hmm. questions mm -hmm. this time, but I've seen him do it in the past. Have you ever seen Hillary Clinton speak in front of a crowd like that? Off the, have you? Because I have. I, I, I see her go off the cuff, and the reason I know she can go off the cuff is. Quite frankly, she's been in politics and in the public eye and speaking for years. And I think most of us, to a degree, can go off script and go off the cuff or speak without a script uh, whenever need be. Uh, but I, I don't think that's her strength, and it obviously is a strength of his. And I certainly don't think that in November voters are going to base who they cast their vote for on who is a better speaker and who has or doesn't have oh, a telephone. Oh, I, I would take issue with that. To some degree, I think a presidential, hold on a sec, a presidential election is not just about policies. It's not about the nitty gritty of what you would actually do. You've got to have this person in your life, on your TV screen, every day for at least four years. So you're attracted or repelled by the personality, the ability to grip an audience. That's extremely important in presidential politics, don't you think? Well, if we look at the data, which suggests in the last few elections, and, and by the way, historically, one, name recognition is, is number one, and they both have that. Uh, two, when it comes uh, to uh, push comes to shove, this country has been very evenly split along party lines and will continue to be, I think, uh, for decades. And then three, there is some element to the popularity. But again, we have seen in the past few elections that it's how they feel about the economy and who they trust to improve that economy going forward. And we'll <laughs> see in November if that remains the that same. Will be, if this is run on the economy, it'll be very interesting. Leslie, I'm, I'm always <laughs> harsh with you, and I'm very sorry I do that, but you've always got a smile. <laughs> I can get away with it. And Leslie Marshall, everyone. <laughs> I didn't think you were. You weren't harsh today. You were not harsh today. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, thank you very much indeed. We'll see you soon.